Now, this whole series is working with the understanding that Google is the boss. They are giving us marching orders in terms of how we get the best out of their organic search results. And of course, they always have that back door open that we can always buy top positions through pay-per-click. So as I talk with you, I'm going to talk about Google the boss. Now, to better understand what has happened, it would be smart that we look at the history of what's happened with regard to changes that have occurred in the Google scheme of things. Now, there have been dozens of changes that have occurred in the last four or five years, but the realities are there are five that have set the pace for what we're now going to deal with, which is going to be Pigeon. Panda was the first serious and most important modification to the uh, search algorithm that determines how search results show. And what Panda attempted to do, and it has done, it's basically ended the game of putting a lot of search phrases and terms within multiple pages that would kind of fool the search engines to be uh, look at a page as being highly important. So Panda dealt with the quality, the quality of information that we serve up to the search engines so that your pages and your content is better found. So that change was kind of important and kind of set the stage. Now Penguin was a different kind of an animal, and I say animal because he seems like it seems like Google has an animal form going for itself. Well, Penguin dealt with toxic links or poison links or bad links, and what that was all about is that uh, there are some companies that were creating websites, big websites that looked to be important, but they really were they were really part of what is called black hat tricks, and then you would put a link from these sites that look to be important to your site and it would give you get better rankings. Well, that game ended about a year ago permanently. And a lot of people lost their status on Google completely. That is they went from top positions to zero positions. So that is Penguin. Now Hummingbird was a very, very important um, modification to the search algorithm that has profound impact. And what Hummingbird did, it was a program that dealt with Google's artificial intelligence and also this auto uh, fill process that goes on when you're typing in information it would kind of anticipate what you're looking for and give you some suggestions but it went further than that what it did was it looked at the content on a website not from a standpoint of the redundancy of search terms and words it actually began to look into the intent of the inquiry that's done through the search so it would have the advantage, that is Google had the advantage of knowing who you are, where you are, where you're located, and what searches you've done in the past. And so they're able to kind of say, okay, let's match that up with what the content is on a variety of sites and give the consumer the best possible search results based on rankings of how well these sites line up with the inquiry. But Hummingbird went a little further than that it was anticipating and could see that there was going to be a mobile shift that did take place. And that mobile shift did take place, by the way, uh, this year. Uh, what happened, in effect, was the majority of searches in many areas have now gone to mobile phones, tablets, and pads. And the significant thing there is you have less physical real estate to put information in front of the consumer. So what Google has done is said, okay, fine, having the advantage of knowing who's doing the shopping and who's doing the looking and knowing a little better about what they're looking for, we can actually come up, come up with a more concise and precise presentation that is physical, visual presentation than we would on a desktop. Now, that then led to another phenomenon, and that's called Pigeon. And by the way, Pigeon dealt with the same issue. Uh, how can we get more information on smaller surfaces and how can we more importantly uh, in the couple of uh, processes that were going on where we were giving uh, given websites many of them are your websites that we've optimized the advantage of appearing when a search is done there would be a panel of names of people that would almost appear to be preferred providers or preferred businesses and we'd also put their rankings with regard to the consumers reviews of those services so that's what Pigeon really did and Pigeon has got some really great opportunities but it also presents some problems for those that haven't prepared themselves properly 